Okay, it's Apple season. It's time to start talking about that Apple 11, the Apple 11 Pro, the Apple 11 Pro Max, the Super Max, Super Whamadyne iPhone 11 Pro with Super Spin with the 17 cameras on the back. I don't know why they can't just call it an iPhone, but whatever. Here's the thing. We looked at it, we've seen the leaks, and it's ugly. It's ugly as sin. Won't matter. People are still gonna buy it. Doesn't make any bit of difference. Doesn't matter how ugly it is, they can make some poop, put an Apple symbol on it, and sell a bunch of them. So why doesn't it matter if the phone's gonna be ugly? I'll tell you why. Right after this! This, this is, uh, you know you listen to, to Travis. <laughs> What up, players? Welcome back, and for all you new people, welcome. My name's Travis, and I do tech videos every single week and have a blast doing them. If that sounds like fun to you, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Anything I talk about will be in the description below, but for now, let's just get into the video. So the iPhone 11 is just right around the corner, as a matter of fact. The announcement's coming up real soon, and the different versions on all the different colors and everything are coming out. It's gonna be awesome. All the Apple fans are gonna have a lot of fun pre-ordering this hot mess. But one thing has been pretty much universally agreed upon. This thing is ugly. It just is, it's weird looking. It's, it's terrible. And people are wondering like, where did they come up with this design? It's really kind of a strange design, this squared off camera. What, why, why, why would you do this? And of course, just like last year, Google stole the design. Google just takes some of the ugliest designs that Apple makes and then copies it and puts it on their phone and thinks it's cool or something. It's just ridiculous. That's neither here nor there, I already made a video about that. But here's the question. Will this ugly design, which most people can agree is ugly, will it make a difference? Will they sell less phones? Yes, they will sell less, but not because of the way this phone looks. You see, phone sales have been going down the toilet for the last three years, and it's gonna probably continue into this year and finish off 2019 with another record low. It's already happened in the first half of the year. So why doesn't design matter? There's a couple of reasons, but the number one reason is Apple loyalty. Listen, these people just wanna buy a new iPhone. That's really all it is, doesn't matter what it looks like. As a matter of fact, I can sit here and talk about how the average consumer doesn't care so much about how the phone looks as long as it works well, but it just so happens a friend of the channel has already kind of proven this. Mr. Who's the Boss, who is a friend of the channel and someone I've uh, collabed with in the past, went out on the streets of England and uh, kind of tested the theory. Like, do people think it's ugly? And came up with like two interesting conclusions. You see, when he compared it to a regular iPhone, this is what happened. Hey, this is a prototype of the iPhone 11. Okay. This is the iPhone 10. Which one do you think looks better between the two? For me, yeah. uh, this camera. So you actually think there's nothing wrong with the square? It's not too big or too much? No, no, it's not. iPhone 10, iPhone 11. Do you actually think that is an improvement? I prefer that one. You prefer that one? Yeah. I prefer yeah, that. Yeah. You prefer that one? Mm, well? Yeah. Watch the, watch the three different, are they three different cameras? Well, to me it wouldn't matter, no. Honestly, I don't really care that much. <laughs> that is more obviously squared off, yeah, but I yeah. think that looks a lot better than that because I don't, personally, I yeah. don't think I'd notice. So some liked it, some didn't, but it didn't seem to really bother anybody. But here's what's really interesting that he did later on. He compared it against other 2019 phones, of course, all Android. And this is what happened. Yeah, so looks, look, looks, I'd say one, yeah. two, Samsung three. Like. This looks hideous. <laughs> it looks pretty, it looks pretty ugly. They should, they they should, they should make so. this look more subtle. Well, the, the shiny one is lovely, the white one and then the beige one. The results of this test are saying one thing pretty clearly, that the design of the iPhone 11 is not particularly liked. That's right. The design for the iPhone 11 got smacked up, baby. Everyone picked every other phone but that one. I mean, look, this thing had 15 votes and the top had 30, it wasn't even close. So yes, the phone is ugly as sin and people, even average consumers agree with that, but they're still gonna buy it. They're still gonna buy it. It's like more quality. Now that right there is interesting. The guy said that the iPhone is better quality, which in itself, no real qualms with that, but this is not an iPhone made by Apple. This is an $80 if that prototype model of one. Um. So if you just rank the design. Uh, first. Okay. Second, third. Even when the notch came out and people were like, ah, oh, the notch is terrible, it's ugly. They sold a bunch of iPhones. Sure, not as many as they had the year for, before, but the 10R, which is of course the cheap iPhone, sold a ton. Like with the notch, with less premium parts, sold a ton. A tremendous amount of Apple fans are just your average consumer. They just want a phone that works and they know iPhones. 
So this little thing on the back is not gonna bother them. They're gonna put a case on it and probably never look at the back. And even if they do, Apple's gonna have some amazing new technology that's gonna take advantage of that third camera or whatever. And they're gonna be able to tell their friends, look at this, now it does a portrait and I can change the picture and I can move your, whatever the heck Apple's gonna do. Listen, you cannot, one thing you have to give credit to Apple for is they are able to use the second camera, which you remember back in the uh, iPhone 7 days, that's when they came out with the portrait with the second camera. They did some pretty cool things with that. Now they're gonna add a third, which means they're gonna do some extra cool things. Those are the things that people are gonna be really excited about. They're not gonna care there's a square on the back because they only have to look at it either when they're taking pictures or if they happen to put their phone face down. They've been looking at that notch straight up for a couple of years now. And that didn't really seem to bother them too much. Again, overall phone sales down, but they still sold a bunch. I guess what I'm saying, no matter what this thing looks like, it's going to sell. So we can talk about how ugly it is and how the design team is falling off. It doesn't matter. They literally can be lazy, which in a lot of ways, it feels like that's what Apple is doing lately. But if you disagree with me, let me know in the comments below. Is this phone actually ugly? Will it make a difference? Will they sell less because of the way it looks? No, it's, I just went through an entire video explaining why that's not gonna be the case. Why would you say that? If this video helped you out in any way, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if it didn't, Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I'm here every single week having a blast. Hope to see you again real soon. Peace and love, peace and love. I'm gonna have to get my iPhone on.